Welcome back to DIY with KB. If you're new here, my name is Kiva and I teach people how to achieve the Lux Look for Less. There is no better place to achieve the Lux Look for Less than Ikea. So I'm giving you 20 new Ikea items that you have to grab. Now these items are brand new to Ikea and they are perfect for the modern minimal home. I'm telling you, there are some RH dupes in here. There are luxury dupes all throughout this video and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Before we get into today's video, please remember to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. Now let's head to Ikea. Now in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about the new items generally. I'm gonna tell you the things I don't like, and I'm also gonna tell you the things that I do like because I think both sides are equally valid. Ikea has a lot of great things, but some of them are just a total miss. But this is something that I love, so let's start with this Valen Tuna Sofa. So the Cloud Sofa modular furniture is so in right now, and Ikea is following suit. This is a really nice collection. It's super affordable, and they're all individual pieces. So you can kind of configure the sofa in any way that you want to do it, and I feel like you just can't beat that. Sometimes people get really stuck with their sofas because it's one big long piece. So you have to have, you know, the ottoman where the ottoman is and the chase where the chase is. Well, you don't have to worry about that with this because you can maneuver this any way you like. And I really like the flexibility that this piece offers. The next item is the Idanos upholstered bed. This one is $3.49 in a queen. And honestly, you just can't beat the price, especially for an upholstered bed. These beds normally cost cost you $700, $800, $900. Again, this is $349. Let's call it a $350. Let's just make it a good number like that. Um, but it's really nice and simple. It's not the most attractive bed in the world, but it'll get the job done. It comes in this dark gray color, and I think this is really nice if you're into Scandinavian, modern, minimal, bohemian, even coastal because the gray comes off kind of as like a blue. What I would probably do is actually paint these legs so that they don't have like that mid-century modern like color on the bottom, unless you're style is mid-century modern. I'd probably just paint them black and kind of let them disappear, but I think this is a really good option if you're dealing with a tighter budget. The next bed is the Tough Jord bed, and it is $500, which for Ikea is a lot of money, but they hit the nail on the head with this one. This looks so luxe. I've seen a bed like this in Anthropology. I want to say some other designer stores as well, and it just is incredible. I love the curvature. I'm always talking about introducing a new shape, and oh my god, you can do this with a bed. Plus, I just like the curvature because it kind of seems like the bed's hugging you a little bit. So if you don't have anyone to cuddle with at nighttime, at least you've got your bed. When it comes to color, this bed comes in a dark green and a blue. I kind of prefer the dark green. It does give me a lot more like glam vibes, but I kind of want to break from the idea that velvet has to be glam. I think you could do this in like an eclectic home, a modern home. You just have to like add it with the correct um, colors. So do a mood board, something like that, but you just can't beat the price. They also have a blue color. Um, the blue really isn't it for me. It's giving me like nursery vibes, but you would never buy this for a kid. So I don't really know how to feel about that, but I'm really happy that like Ikea is kind of expanding their collection from being less Scandi and modern into something that's a little bit more versatile. Next, we're talking about the Bjork's Nas dresser. It is $249, and I really like this because of the paneling on the side. Now, I hate, I hate the leather hardware they have there. Ikea does that all the time. If it was actually like a black leather or something like that, I'd be on board. But I don't really love this camel color. It kind of, again, gets you kind of stuck in the Scandinavian and Bohemian aesthetic. But I love the paneling on the side. What I'd probably do is buy this because it's cheap. DIY it a little bit, add some of that paneling to the front where the dresses are, and then you use some of their gold knobs, which are also super affordable, and kind of make it look like an Anthropology CB2 sort of knockoff, but only for $249 instead of $500, $600, $700. Now, these whole tarp rails, I feel like they've been at Ikea for a long time. I think the new thing about them is that they've expanded their colors, and I really love the gold. I think it's just like a really nice pop of color. Now, you see a lot of people using these all the time in like a nursery, in a kid's room, in a kitchen, but I think that you can use these in other spaces. So I'd probably use this above your vanity if you do makeup all the time or something like that. Instead of leaving those brushes all over that desk um, and getting it all messy, let's put them on the wall. We can put like maybe plants and decor in one, and then our brushes another and kind of spread things out. Don't be afraid to use your walls. Your walls um, provide space. They provide storage space. So if you're dealing with a small space, use something like this. I think these would also be great for a desk area. If your space is kind of small and you don't have space to have kind of drawers in your desk or something like that, use the wall space. Put your pens, your paper, your staplers. I mean, I don't know about the stapler because if you put your hand in there, you might staple yourself. I don't want that for you. But there are a lot of options that you could do with these. Put them on your wall and don't be afraid to paint these things. They're made out of metal. So get some primer and some spray paint. It'll cling. And and you can upcycle these in any way that you want. 
The next new item is this Backstar duvet cover. It is $45. And of course, I always love Ikea duvet covers because they are super cheap. So if you can't afford that $200 or $300 duvet cover, you want something that'll last you a year or two, Ikea is a great option. I'm not here to tell you that this is what you're gonna pass down to your kids. That just like is not the case. But this one is super fun. It gives me kind of like bohemian vibes. Um, I think just bohemian vibes, but with like a masculine edge because it does have the gray, the beige and black. It's not like totally green or totally like in your face, but there is some fun pattern. It's a really good way to liven up a room if you don't have like a lot of wall art or you have a pretty bland color. This will kind of add a pop without overwhelming the space. The next duvet cover is the Sputch Vial duvet cover. It is Jersey again. Sorry if I'm butchering these names. I'm trying my best, but I will have everything linked down below. But what I really like about this duvet cover is it's kind of a dupe for the Calvin Klein duvet cover. So if you like Jersey sheets, um, that means you love Calvin Klein sheets, which means you might like these ones. Um, do Jersey sheets aren't for everyone because if you sleep hot, you're kind of just going to like melt into the sheets. But they're really nice and fun um, to sleep on. I don't know. I like them. But the Calvin Klein ones can be $75, $100. If you don't have that money to spend, um, and that's just for sheets. So if you don't have that money to spend on a duvet cover or something like that, this is a really good option as well. It's a really nice light gray jersey. This is great if you're trying to do like a modern bed situation that doesn't require a lot of upkeep when you do the jersey sheets you're not putting a throw on here you're not putting like throw pillows on there it's just like the duvet cover the sheets um, two stack pillows and you're done so this is a really great option if you want something that looks super streamlined next we're talking about the alp storm hat pillows they are 6.99 a pack and these pillows are just fun Throw pillows, throw pillows are the bane of everyone's existence. Not because they're bad or anything like that. Hear me out. Don't get mad yet. It's because when you go to Home Goods, you go to TJ Maxx, they have one of the pillows, right? And you're like, but I need six. <laughs> How am I going to get six? So you're driving around to every Home Goods in your neighborhood. You're posting on all the boards. You don't have to do that with the Ikea pillow covers. You can buy a bunch of them and they have them always in stock, which I super love. So this is really great if you're going for something a little bit more whimsical. This is good for farmhouse. It's good for bohemian. If you just want to add some texture, if you're into like that coastal, um, not CB2, if you're into that coastal Studio McGee vibe, this is a really good way to introduce some texture with really minimal color because again, it's just beige and black. It's super fun. I think when I look at these in a store, they're normally like $40 for like a pillow like this. So the fact that you can get these so affordably kind of blows me away. Same thing about the Ask Brumnall pillow cover. This one is a little bit more black and gray. That one is $11.99 per pack, a little bit more expensive. But again, um, this is really good for an eclectic home, a bohemian home. It's just like a ton of texture. It's a ton of texture for a phenomenal price. These pillows would cost you so much money on Lulu and Georgia, Serena and Lily. So again, this is a really good way to save money. And what I'm really actually liking about all these new IKEA pillow covers is they all kind of like tie in together. So if you don't want to have like the same pillow like on every part of your sofa or throughout your house they have the same colors so you know that they're going to match but the patterns are a little bit different so ikea kind of takes like the styling out of it for you which for a lot of us that's easy right because we don't want to do our interior design we kind of just want it done for us I am obsessed with this Mildrun cushion cover. It is only $5. Um, it just is like really cute. You can put this in a kid's room. I see this in like a teen room. I see this in an adult room. I love a versatile pillow, right? I love versatile anything. I want to get something that's going to work from age zero to 100. Um, not for me because I change my life all the time, but for you so that you can save some money. Um, it's just gray with white stripes, really simple. Um, and what I actually really love about throw pillows like this is like if you have like a sofa um, that is gray and you want it to look more blue I actually put gray pillows on there and then it brings that kind of like the blue hue in it so this is a really good way to do that without like overwhelming it with like too much color or texture because sometimes we just want things simple um, and you just can't beat this price we love cheap and the last pillow cover I'm going to talk about is the Animet pillow cover which is $11.99 again it's the same thing that I've said about all the pillows I will say that this is my least favorite one because the middle of it kind of just looks kind of like a scraggly old gray dog which like if that's your thing that's your thing um, I would probably get any of the other ones first, but again, if you're into the bohemian and the eclectic, really affordable pillow cover. And I told you about all these pillows. I'll just say the same thing I say in every Ikea video, get the Fajadra pillow inserts, and that's going to make your pillow look so nice. If you don't like down, don't get them. But if you're open to down, this is what you need. Ikea came out with so many curtains. I know because of the pandemic, Ikea hasn't had great stock and like all the curtains that everyone loves, the Lenda, the Ritva, they were all out of stock. But not only have those things restocked, but 
we have the greatest selection ever. I'm telling you, I was just like dancing in the curtains, wrapping myself in the curtains. They're all so beautiful. Let's talk about the silver lawn curtains. They are $14.99 per pair. $14.99 per pair. That's cheaper than Walmart, that's cheaper than Target, and they're made out of good materials, but I love these because they come in a beige, a white, a green, and then like a yellow sort of situation. They kind of look like linen, but I do not believe that they are linen. Um, you can see through them, they're somewhat sheer, but they still provide some privacy, which is really important. I just love the texture. I love the detailing when you kind of hold it up to the light. Um, I could go on and on about Ikea curtains because they're so affordable and the quality is just there. This Fixnos table lamp is $20. And you're kind of like, Kiva, what am I gonna do with this? Because the two colors are blue and pink. And you're like, why? Why? But hear me out. So if you're into minimal design, mid-century design, vintage design, having really interesting lamps is super in. So I'm going to tell you to get this, which is super affordable, take that um, cover and dye it. So dye it black or dye it white. And you're going to get this really cool mid-century eclectic sort of like table lamp, which could cost you hundreds of dollars on eBay or Amazon or first dibs. And you're going to get it for $19 and some change. And it's going to look super luxe. So don't discount this yet. Don't ever discount anything from my Ikea because again, Ikea is like literally made for upcycling, right? Everything is so affordable that you can take it and make it your own and it's going to look amazing. I'm pretty disappointed when it comes to this Niboda coffee table. It is $80. It was new to me. I'm not necessarily sure that it's new to Ikea, but I don't like it. I don't like it because for Ikea, it's pretty expensive. It's $80 and it's supposed to look like a concrete effect. Um, it doesn't, it looks like a vinyl effect. Um, so maybe if they advertise it as that, I would like it, but I just feel like it's overpriced for what it is. Honestly, at that price, you could go buy your own concrete and cement, mix it and make your own table. Um, I've done it before. It's really easy. Search a YouTube video, but I kind of think they just missed the mark on this one. They're trying to bring like that concrete, um, situation that they have in the best of collection, which I do think is successful and bring it over into the coffee tables. And it isn't it. Maybe if they had like a full concrete, like top without like the black metal framing it would look better but they missed the mark on this one the next miss for me is this upland chair like i thought upland already existed so i don't really know why it says it's new but it says it's new it's 279 dollars for this chair and if you were alive in the 90s if you had kids in the 90s if you were a kid in the 90s you remember raggedy ann and raggedy andy and they had that sofa and then this chair looks like that sofa and let's just like leave it there um it, the arms are just like way too big it kind of looks like one of those chairs that you see on those college campuses that are like massive and they're like come stay here it just isn't a practice chair I think it's really just ugly and it's overpriced it's slip covered um, and it's not worth it I think you could get a better chair at Target at Walmart at Goodwill pretty much anywhere else if it's comfortable maybe that would be a redeeming quality but it didn't look too comfortable to me when I put my hand on it and that matters when you're spending almost $300 now this was an amazing IKEA find so they have this far enough TIG air purifier they don't have it on the US websites, yes, they have it on Canada, but they have it in stores because I actually bought one. So this is an air purifier that you can actually mount on the wall. And we found it, not because we're looking for that, right? Because why would I be looking for that in Ikea? But we walked past it and we were like, oh, wow, this is amazing. And it was amazing because it you really couldn't hear it too much, which is great when you're dealing with an air purifier. Um, and it was giving out really nice, cool air. And like my air purifier right now is like $500. So if I can get something more affordable, and I think this one was like $50, I'm going to go with that. And Ikea actually wrote a whole article on how they wanted to make it affordable. So I'm going to have that. I'm going to review it for you. So stay tuned for that. But this is a really great item if you want something aesthetic. Um, incorporating fans and things that cool us down and like keep our air clean is really hard to do, right? There's never been a cute ceiling fan in the existence of the world unless you're like getting it custom made. So this might be a really aesthetically pleasing solution. It looks kind of like a speaker or like, I don't know, like a decorative box. I don't know. Now, it's cute so run with it another item that I'm not seeing in the US yet but I saw it in my store is the upwind floor lamp this lamp is an RH dupe this lamp is the luxury dupe of the century I want you to all run out and get it when I told you about the Ipper League I said that was it this one is it it is the lamp of 2021 it looks so luxe it looks so luxe there's nothing else for me to say I had to like hold myself back from buying it. I had to hold back Babe from buying it because we don't have anywhere to put it. But the nice curvature is so interesting. It's so interesting to look at. And it's one of those pieces that if um, you like modern home decor, you're gonna gravitate towards it, but everyone else is gonna be like, um, why? 
Um, and that is what happens at a, a lot at Ikea. That's why I'm here, right? I'm like, this is what looked good for a modern home. Most people are looking for a farmhouse, Bohemian, Scandi. This is a modern gem, so run and get it. Now, this Stockholm coffee table is just giving me anthropology vibes. Um, and if you don't shop at anthropology, you should look on their website because they actually have tons of like really modern, cool stuff. Their stuff is just weird, um, but it's really expensive. So this Stockholm table, you're kind of like Kiva. It looks like a surfboard. It does. Um, and I hate the color, but at 250, you could really upcycle this. Paint it all black, including the wicker, and it's going to look so cool because it's going to be an interesting shape, and then you're going to have that texture from the wicker, and people are going to be like, ooh la la, and you're going to be like, yeah, I did that. Um, the same table at Anthropology I think is $800 on sale, so let's just think about how expensive it would be brand new. I also love this Asperod side table. It's $60, which for Ikea is a little bit pricey, but for the grand scheme of things is a steal. And I really like this because it is smoky glass. I love glass tables, but the downside of glass tables is that you got like the little thingy marks. And they're also gonna show up on this table, but a little bit less. And it just looks really nice and luxe. Um, it kind of gives you like that black like lacquer look that's really popular right now but it's 100% glass which I totally love um the one thing I don't like about it is the gold legs but you can just paint over those it's really as easy as that and if you like the gold legs it's really good for glam or something like that but if you don't like the gold paint over it and that'll be good for Scandi modern um pretty much anything else I wouldn't put it in your farmhouse but otherwise I think this would be a great choice for you Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I gave you 20 new IKEA items in spring 2021. I hadn't seen any of these items before and I'm so happy that they're new because IKEA is helping us achieve that luxe look for less. Be sure to let me down below which items you're gonna be picking up. I really have my eye on that lamp. What do you guys think? Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, like this video and check me out on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a beautiful day.